Hey boys and girls, welcome back to my channel, and today, we're going to talk about something a little different here. Here's my blanket, brown blanket. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 worst peep in the big wide world episodes ever. Now, if you've never heard of the show, it's basically about a little yellow chicken that hatched out his A. The series premiered in April 12th, 2004, and ended in... I believe October 12th, 2011. Yeah, October, actually October 14th, sorry. Yeah. So, um, the show's, show, show's been, the show ended like almost 12 years ago. So deciding, and, and next year's gonna be the 20th anniversary of the show. So it's time to celebrate it, celebrate it early. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing these weekly Peep in the Big Wide World episodes. From each month until the until the until until April, April twelfth will be the last video of Pete in the Big White World. Then I move on to Mario again. Mario is it Mario or Mario? Mario, you know, whatever. Okay. I also go in the car, so I gotta be quick, and you know, go go. Gotta go. Gotta do this. Go go go. Did I get that? All right, let's go. I'm in the car currently. So I'm deciding to do the worst top 10, worst being the Big World episodes. And then we'll do the best. To start, we have number 10. To start with number 10, we have Birds of a Feather. Now, to recap, I did watch almost every single episode. I didn't watch The Road Not Taken Part 1 and 2 and some episodes in Season 1. But Birds of the Feather is kind of boring to me. Well, it's not bad by any means. It could use some work. It was in season one, so they were still experimenting, so I don't blame them. Number nine. Number nine. Bringing Spring. I just watched this episode recently, and I thought it was all right. I mean, I thought it was okay. I thought it was just meh. Now, the concept was pretty cool. It's, it, at first, it starts like a norm, just a boring episode, but then it turns into a pretty cool thing. When then, after after Quack was doing the leaning, doing to bring spring, he was making a goofy game called Bring in Spring. Bring Spring, which is a pretty goofy game, unless you're a groundhog. Speaking of the groundhog, if you didn't know the groundhog, if you are familiar with this episode, if you thought it was a boy, well, you're the narrator. It said... <clears throat> they decided to call it Groundhog or Shadow. And I'm serious. It is shown in the episode. I'm serious. Go watch it for yourself. All the episodes will be linked in the description below. It'll be in my... It'll be... I'll have a link in the description for that episode. To remind you guys. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. The You Can Count on Bunnies. Now, this episode was okay at first. I mean, I was okay with it, but then, yeah. The episode starts off promising, but when after they start crying, it's so annoying. If the bunny just cried, I wouldn't be as bad, but Quack started crying as well, which is just... He is my favorite character of the main characters in the show, but his crying is so annoying. I can understand in Dry Duck Part 1, but, oh my god, and this episode is pointless. I understand in Dry Duck Part 1 and 2, he does cry, I understand that. But this episode, I don't explain why. I mean, he technically didn't cry, he just started tearing up, like, you know, starting to cry, but then Pete just told him to stop. Not stop, in a rude way, just, you know, told the bunny to stop, and he said it was okay, yeah. So, and that stopped crying, you know. But anyway, um... Alright, I think that's it for that episode. Moving on. Number seven. And for the number seven spot, we have... Number seven. We have... Oh, sorry. Number seven. We have the... Quack's Pond Party. I would say this is um a not-so-great episode. Now, it starts off promising... But then it just turns into a whole lot. I forgot to imagine. It's just a forgettable episode in season four. Also, there were five seasons of the show. 
if you watch my original top top five, you would know that uh, they weren't that great. And I remember them. And some episodes I thought were bad that time, like 2022, I, early 2022, I think are different now because I've been rewatching the show recently. We have, um, number six. Moving on. Number six. What's it called? Falling Feathers. Now, this is another episode I'm not a huge fan of. Now, it does start off okay, I will admit. But then, uh, I mean, the en- the beginning wasn't that great. But the ending does put it uh, just barely into the, just barely escapes the top five. Hoot the Owl, it's a she, like a grandma or something. Like a grandma owl, or not grandma, but a mom owl. And, and I like Hoot, kind of. I'm okay with her. She first appeared in Birds of a Feather, I believe. Yeah, Birds of a Feather. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, Birds of a Feather. Second appearance was... Yeah, okay, we'll talk. Yeah. Speaking of which... Speaking of which... Yeah. She also appeared in Tri- Tri- The Windy Day as well, at the end. Speaking of which... Number five, The Windy Day. This episode wasn't that great. Now, after number four, everything from now on will just be horrible. Not horrible in, like, shows. But in Peeping the Big White World standards, horrible. Yeah, not great. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many episodes of the entire show. It aired for seven years, yeah. No, I, yeah, seven years. Which isn't bad, you know. A long air, long with the back audience, which is crazy. It had less episodes, but it had more... Yeah, and, uh, yeah, actually, no, actually, it had more, but less hair schedule, which is pretty strange. But, yeah, yeah. So, um, where was I? Yeah, The Windy Day. The Windy Day was an okay episode, I mean, not okay, it was a mediocre episode. At first, I think it started off promising at first, with most of these episodes I said before. And then it turned into something. When the wind picks up, after the wind stops, that's when the episode gets really bad. Also, I think the only hoot the owl thing barely skips it from the top three. And also, one of it barely, it barely puts it on this list. The only thing I don't like is just Turp telling them to go home. Meanwhile, she could have she could have just told them to get help instead of, you know, telling them to go home. It's like... Why would you do that, Chirp? You could have told them to get help, like, you know, maybe go to Hoot. I mean, that's not a great idea because they're scared, but you could have told them to, which is just ridiculous, but whatever. That's the only bad thing about this episode. Number four. Number four. Number four. What's it? What is it? The Road Not Taken, part one and two. Now, this episode, these two parts, wasn't that great. First of all, I just didn't really like the concept. This was in late, I mean, yeah. This was at early season five, so they were still experimenting with new things. But they they managed to, they, 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 they were starting, around season five, they started kind of running out of ideas to make episodes. So that's why they got a two-part special, just for no reason. And it is just not that great. Number two. Number two. Number two, we have... Oh, yeah. Also, um, one of the... Yeah, yeah. I think the worst, um, s- and the second worst episode of Peeping the Big Boy World is... Um, Give Me a Call from Season 1. Oh my god, this episode is just a stupid, very stupid. It is so just a stupid concept. 
For a show that's supposed to teach kids, they know how to hear. Like, are they dumb or something? But this episode does not compare to the one and only worst episode. And the number one ep worst episode? And what else would it be but soap opera? This, uh, my opinion has not changed on this episode at all. I think it got worse over time. Because, oh my god, this episode is just so bad. I mean, it starts off a little annoying, but not too bad. But then when they start fighting, it's so stupid. Like, oh my god. Like, what the hell were they thinking about this episode? PBS, please do not make this episode air anymore. I mean, it doesn't air anymore, which is kind of sad, but do not air. If, if there's there's one episode that doesn't, I do not want them to air, it's this episode and technically Diva Duck. But Diva Duck's okay. I mean, it's kind of annoying as well, but it's mediocre. It didn't even be a trip, to be honest. This is, but Soap Opera definitely decided to be put on this list. Oh, boy. Well, that'll do for today's episode, boys and girls. And trust me, I will have more videos 